Greetings, traveler. This is the Hellenic Oracle, Mystica speaking. Today, I shall describe in detail the two incarnations of Atlantis. You interested in the Greek gods' secrets or hidden realms? How about unknown Greek divinities or modern Greek myths? If so, please like, share and subscribe to Mystica to keep updated and show your support. Also, Please don't forget to click on the information icon in the top right corner to watch my channel's introduction. Are you ready to dive into the depths of the sea, and explore the mysteries of Atlantis? Then, without further ado, please stop by to behold this eternal kingdom and its majesty. A place paved with gold and precious materials. There was such a powerful and blinding light, shining in the center of the eternal kingdom. From a bird's eye view, the mortal kingdom of Atlantis was an island made of around three concentric circles. The islands were connected by a complex network of connected bridges and rivers, which were used by boats as roads. In the middle of the central island was a temple of Poseidon. Each island was covered in an ancient Greek city. The location of Atlantis is probably in the Aegean Sea, near Mount Olympus, according to my divine visions, which match the myths. In case you don't already know, Poseidon actually had a palace under the Aegean Sea, in Greek mythology. There could also be other versions of Atlantis in the Atlantic and Mediterranean Sea. Now, let's take a closer look at the mortal Atlantis. If you look closely, you would notice that the gates to this Atlantis are tall, wide, arched and made of gold. This kingdom was encircled by high walls made of gold brass. It had wooden stalls and town houses. These houses were inhabited by the mortal Atlantean citizens. The mortal Atlantis was flocked with pedestrians and merchants. It was a world-renowned center for international trade. On the left of the mortal Atlantis is the coastline of the mainland. If you peer beyond the ether, which is otherwise known as the mist, you would notice that on the left of the mainland, is Mount Olympus and the Atlas mountain ranges. It should be noted here, that the sea is closer to Mount Olympus, beyond the ether. Anyway, on the right was a palace, on a cliff. This palace had towers, and was made of white concrete. It was the home of the mortal Atlantean king and demigod son of Poseidon, Eleanor. Poseidon made a pact with the mortal Atlanteans, not to take too many precious resources from his merpeople, but they broke it. So, he punished them for their greed. He sent his Atlantean guards to pillage the mortal Atlanteans' homes. He also set the mortal Atlantis on fire, by striking it with lightning, destroyed it by causing an earthquake, and submerged it by summoning a tsunami. It has been lost in the mortal world ever since. Poseidon then rebuilt Atlantis as his underwater merpeople kingdom. He also created another dimension, where both Atlantises coexist in harmony. I am about to describe the merpeople kingdom of Atlantis to you. From a bird's eye view, this Atlantis looks almost exactly like the mortal one, except that it's on the sea floor. At the back of Atlantis is Poseidon's palace, which has towers made of gold or crystal. Now let's take a closer look at the merpeople Atlantis. This Atlantis has shops and a structured society like that of the mortals. The gates of this Atlantis are guarded by Poseidon's guards who are Greek mermen, otherwise known as Tritonnes. They wear Spartan or Roman armor with fins and scales. These mermen also go on errands for Poseidon, and keep the merpeople citizens in order. The homes of the Atlantean merpeople citizens look like bioluminescent jellyfish, and have a clam-like texture. These homes are on tall stands. However, some are town houses, on the sea floor. Atlantean merpeople decorate their homes with different types of shells, coral and seaweed. The homes are also tailored to meet the needs of merpeople. For example, they have doors in the ceiling, instead of staircases, because they can just simply swim upward. At the center of the kingdom, is the flame of Atlantis. 
This flame is blue or green. It's located in a bonfire in the courtyard in front of Poseidon's temple. The flame of Atlantis keeps this kingdom alive. As long as the flame burns, the kingdom of Atlantis shall still stand. Sacred geometry is very important in Atlantis. The ground of Poseidon's courtyard is covered in mosaic mandala with sacred geometry. Surrounding the courtyard is a beautiful garden known as the Grove of Poseidon. This garden has various beautiful corals, seaweeds and sea flowers. It also has a fountain with water, which goes up instead of down. This water also has magical healing properties. Near the Temple of Poseidon is the Temple of Atlantis. This temple is white, circular, surrounded by pillars and made of concrete. Inside the temple, its walls are covered as Atlantean writing, which glows green or blue. At the center of the temple, is the gem of Atlantis. This gem is blue or green. It's located on a stand in the middle of the room. The Atlantean gem protects the kingdom, is used as a beacon, and has other mysterious purposes. Gems are very significant for Atlantean mer people. One of their traditions is to give their newborn child an enchanted gemstone necklace at the time of their birth. Atlantean mer people use gems for various magical purposes, including healing. Poseidon's temple is a large white pantheon made of concrete. At the altar of Poseidon's temple is his statue. This statue is massive, holds his trident, and is made of gold. Covering the whole ceiling is a mural painting of Atlantis's history. It shows off Atlantis's glory days, including coronation parades and victories in battle. Also at the altar of Poseidon's temple is his well of prosperity. This well is a medium hole framed with rocks. Green flames rise from the well. Atlantean mer people would offer Poseidon a corn in this fiery well to gain prosperity. Sometimes, the voice of Poseidon's formless soul fragment would speak in a godly voice from the well. Now, I am about to describe the palace of Poseidon to you. This palace is decorated with coral and cool colored gems, such as blue, green and purple ones. Poseidon lives in his palace with his wife, Amphitrite, sons, including Triton and countless mermaid daughters called the Neptunids. The rooms in Poseidon's palace include a throne room, dining room, ballroom, chapel and several bedrooms. The walls of Poseidon's palace are pale, cool colored Roman villa style. Poseidon's ballroom is rectangular and spacious. This room looks like a typical concert hall. It has several tables surrounded by chairs. At the front of the ballroom is a rectangular stage with velvet curtains. Poseidon's chapel is a hexagonal shaped room with tall narrow stained glass windows. Almost everything in the chapel is white. For example, the floors and walls are made of white marble. In the middle of the room, is an aisle leading up to an altar with two thrones. On the sides of the aisle are wooden pews. Poseidon holds private weddings in his chapel. Amphitrite in Poseidon's bedroom has a bed with a pink clamshell bed head, pink quilt and circle-shaped mattress. There are also arched glass doors with white silk curtains. Beyond these doors is Poseidon's balcony from which he can admire the sweeping views of his kingdom. Atlantis. This kingdom is protected by a transparent and blue dome-shaped force field. This force field was magically created by Poseidon, when he raised his trident, after the war between the Greek mer people kingdoms of Atlantis and Oceanus. He did this to protect Atlantis from further invasions. You can find out more about the mer people kingdom of Oceanus in my other video. I hope that you enjoyed your visit to the Kingdom of Atlantis. If so, please remember to like, share and subscribe to Mystica for updates, and to show your support. Have you had any divine visions, or know any unwritten information about Atlantis? If so, please tell us about them in the comments section, below. What about Apollo's Golden Kingdom of the Sun, F-theory R? I might put that in the next video.
Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Adios. Note, all videos on this channel are you pages. They aren't to be taken as assertions of facts, but statements of my personal spiritual beliefs. Please remember to be respectful of them. Thank you.